Hey everybody. Today we're doing an example of maximum likelihood estimation. Suppose we have a bunch of observations, x1 up to xn, of some random variable that has an exponential distribution. Like maybe we're measuring waiting times between orders to a pizza place at a specific time of day. A random variable with an exponential distribution has this probability density function. 1 over theta, e to the negative x over theta, where x is positive. It's a waiting time. What we'd like to do is to use that sample data, the observations, x1 up to xn, to come up with an estimator, theta hat, of that unknown parameter, theta. The technique we're going to use is maximum likelihood estimation. This is natural, pretty straightforward, and very applicable. The basic idea is just to write the joint PDF of the random variables x1 up to xn. Those are the random variables that are giving rise to the observations little x1 up to little xn in terms, or rather as a function of the parameter theta, and then maximize that function with respect to theta. When we take that joint PDF and view it as a function of theta, we usually use the notation capital L of theta and call the function the likelihood function. Really, it is just the joint PDF, but with a different perspective on it. In this case, in this example, as in most real-world instances, the random variables are independent, so we can write that joint PDF as a product. Moreover, in this case, all of the random variables are identically distributed, so it's a product of um, different instances of the same function over and over and over again. In this case, since the random variables x1 up to xn have exponential distributions, identical exponential distributions in fact, we get this likelihood function, which can be simplified as 1 over theta to the n times the exponential function of negative the sum of all the xk's divided by theta. This is the thing that we want to maximize with respect to theta. We could jump right in and do this by doing, for instance, a first derivative test by taking the derivative here and setting it equal to zero, but we can save ourselves a little bit of work by taking logs of both sides first. The reason this is helpful is that this function, the likelihood function, has a lot of products and powers, and we can simplify those using the rules of logarithms. Fortunately, if a function has a local maximum or a local minimum, its logarithm will as well. So it suffices to find the maximum values of the logarithm of this likelihood function. This is the thing that we're going to apply our actual first derivative test to. So let's jump in. Let's do it. Let's take the derivative using our standard derivative rules. Note that we're differentiating with respect to theta here, not to, with respect to any of the x's. Set it equal to 0 and solve for theta. In this case, we get the sample mean x bar. That's the only critical value for the log likelihood function. We can confirm that, in fact, this is a maximum value, not just a local minimum or something, um, by using the first derivative test. In this case, the derivative is positive to the left of that critical value, negative to the right. There's only one critical value on this interval, the interval of where, the, um, where theta is defined, and so it has to be an absolute maximum value. It makes sense that the estimator theta hat would end up being the sample mean x bar, since the parameter theta represents the mean of, the, of an exponentially distributed random variable. So we estimate the parameter theta with the sample mean x bar. Makes sense. OK, let's put some specific numbers to this example. Suppose that we have an employee measuring waiting times, or we're measuring times at which orders are placed at a pizza place in seconds after opening for one hour. So the first order to the pizza place comes in 10 seconds after they order. The second one comes in 72 seconds after they open, and so on. So let's try and estimate theta here. We know the maximum likelihood estimator is just the sample mean, 1 over n times the sum of all the waiting times. Um, and in this case, we can actually get the sum of all the waiting times just by looking at the time at which the last observation occurred. So in this case, that's 3588. So for our maximum likelihood estimator here, we get theta hat is 3588 over 48, about 75 seconds. We can confirm that this is a maximum for the likelihood function visually. Here I've drawn a plot of that likelihood function along with a vertical dotted line showing the value theta equals 74.75, the maximum likelihood estimator in this case. 